June 16, 2022. Yes, the presidential primaries of the political parties, especially PDP and APC, have come and gone but not with the hidden messages that only the great thinkers can unravel and reveal. Hmm. What really played out is a crafted and schemed plot of a prepared and determined tribe, the Fulani tribe. Hmm. It's all about strengthening their hold on power and deepening their roots on the soil of Nigeria to emasculate and strangulate other tribes. Hmm. Make no mistake about this, the emergence of Article for PDP and Tinubu for APC was neither accidental nor coincidental. Hmm. No, it was a well-calculated and schemed plot by a people who have intentionally and consciously become masters of the game of survival. Hmm. APC, with the help of INEC, knowingly or unknowing, had to wait for the outcome of PDP primaries to be sure they got their man, article, as the flag bearer, before they had their own. Once the PDP ticket had been secured by their own, having outsmarted the southern candidates, they knew they were not going to take any chance with the marriage of the Igbos and the Yorubas. Alliance which would have been necessitated and triggered by a common feeling of injustice and the northern, Fulani, show of domination and lordship. The Fulanis have always known that the very day this wedding takes place, that same day, their dominance will come to an end. So while they try to emasculate the Igbos, they allow the Yorubas to have a feel of the booty and a piece of the cake. The cake, their wise <laughs> elders, like Po Odebanjo, have repeatedly told them, would be bigger, richer, sweeter and more lasting, if they join hands with their Igbo brothers to bake. <laughs> so to widen this gap and strengthen this wall of division, between the Igbos and Yorubas, Tinyabu, a Yoruba man, who they will never give the presidency, has to be given the ticket to assuage the Southwest, for now, against the Igbos who are rightfully entitled to the ticket. Hmm. Buhari was ready for a North-North ticket. Hmm. He didn't care. But the wise men led by El Rufai talked him out of it, having known the immediate implication of that. Hmm. Don't forget, it was just few days to the primaries that Tinyabu bust out on Buhari and APC leadership. Hmm. An action the APC chairman said would not go unpunished. Hmm. And that punishment was to make him the party's flag bearer. Hmm. What a punishment. The question then is, why the preference of Tinyabu to Osimbanjo? Remember, El Rufai did not allow Tinyabu to see the Kaduna delegates, which he promised he would give to Amichi. Hmm. El Rufai is the head of the Fulani agenda. It was Atiku that brought him to limelight and gave him political relevance when he made him the FCT minister in OBJ's government. Hmm. So for their continuity in power and survival as a people, Atiku, one of their own, must be there. Hmm. Buhari and Ko never wanted to give power to either Osimbojo or Tinyabu. They chose Tinyabu over Asimbanjo to avoid the kind of crisis Tinyabu, with his resources, would have caused them even before the election. <laughs> and as a master strategist himself, who probably knows what they know, except what they would do to him during this election, they figured out that appeasing him for now is a lesser evil. <laughs> the fear of Tinyabu slash Wiki galvanizing the South for a showdown with them was the beginning of wisdom. <laughs> for the Fulanis, they don't have any business with party but position. Of course. Where their man is, that's the party for them. Very correct. Do not be deceived, choosing APC or PDP is like choosing between six and half a dozen or as was trending in the social media, choosing hmm. between Sniper and Otepiepia. Tell them. Why didn't they allow the South to chair the parties into their primaries? Hmm. Is it any coincidence that they both zoned the chairmanship of their parties to the North and still nurse the ambition of producing the presidential candidates? <laughs> no, I don't think so. It's not coincidence, but confidence. Yes. Any day, any time, this article we know will beat this tenable we know, hands down. <laughs> not because there is any difference in their character or agenda for the nation, but because the APC heavy ways in the north will obviously tambourize Tinyabu after draining him dry and rally round their man, article, to strengthen the Fulani dynasty. <laughs> now the big question is this. At what point did the 30 Northern APC governors know that it was the turn of the South to produce the next president? Hmm. Why didn't they support the Southern governors when they made the same call last year? <laughs> if they did, would Atiku and other Northerners have come out? Or was it only for those in APC? If Atiku wins, which is their game plan, would power have returned to the South? Hmm. The contemplation of a Muslim Muslim ticket for APC by El Rufia Channels TV was it in the interest of Atiku or Tinyabu? Hmm. 
will Tinubu commit this political suicide of choosing a Muslim as a vice to please these hawks, knowing the implications? It's just a matter of days. Yes, while it's wisdom to plan, it's senseless planning on what you cannot control. You can control your actions, but you can't control the consequences. Why the Fulanis may think that they have emasculated and castrated the leadership of these ethnic groups who have sworn allegiance to serve them and others outside the government, whom they gave money for contract and asked not to execute them, so as to pin EFCC on them, once they opened their mouths, they did not factor in the revolution that the youth of these ethnic groups are coming up with. Revolution that will bring a serious shake up in our political system. A revolution activated precipitated and triggered by the force of hope and assurance which Peter Obi, the flag bearer of the Labour Party, has come to personify and epitomize. Hmm. Peter Obi has begun a movement that has even gone beyond him. In him, the people are seeing hope, honesty, integrity, prudence, accountability, intelligence and human feelings. Hmm. In him, they genuinely believe Nigeria will rise again. Of course. They believe supporting Peter Obi is not helping him but helping themselves and taking back their country, yes, their sir. only country. Yes. Never in the history of Nigerian politics has a presidential candidate been this accepted to the point that the electorates are spending their own resources for him rather than the candidate giving them money for their votes. Facts. They are convinced that they are investing for themselves, not for Peter Obi. Yes. That if he becomes president, they are sure of returns on their investments. Hmm. That Peter Obi could go to a virgin party and turn it into a movement and a force in the political arena shows truly that he makes things happen. Of course. That he can build from nothing to something truly confirms that he will indeed turn Nigeria from consumption to production. Yes. Here are my critical questions. Hmm. One. Okay. Why would Tinubu who knows and has publicly said that he brought Buhari, the most nepotic, tribalized, clueless and worst president Nigeria has ever and will ever have, still have the guts to come out for president instead of hiding his head in shame and apologizing to the nation if he cares a hoot about this country. How will any man with conscience, if not for the exhibition of selfishness of the highest order, come out for president? 2. Why is Atiku, who has run for this office for the fifth or more time, the only tribe whose candidates keep resurfacing in every election, still coming out this time around? 1. Knowing the damage a northern Fulani man has done and is still doing in this country. 2. Knowing that he, too, is a northern Fulani man. 3. Knowing that it's constitutional for PDP to rotate power between north and south. 4. Knowing that it's the turn of southeast, the region that gave him almost 100% of their votes. 5. Knowing that this region and her people are being punished today because of the votes they gave him and he never uttered a word against it nor stood up to defend them. Hmm. 6. And knowing that this region has been the bedrock of PDP <clears throat> since 1999. Hmm. If it's just politics and not the pursuit of an ethnic agenda, how would any man, with conscience, come out at this sensitive and fragile time when Nigerian existence has a question mark? Ask me a man who has never <laughs> condemned anything the Fulanis have done. A man who has never called Buhari by name in condemnation rather APC government. Hmm. My submission. It has taken the Fulanis almost 60 years to scheme themselves to where they are now. Hmm. Controlling economic, military and political powers in Nigeria. Hmm. So they want Atiku there for at least the next four years to perfect what they have begun. Hmm. Tinabu victory is not an option. They will not allow it except for a Muslim, Muslim, Fulani, ticket so that they would do to the south what they thought OBJ did to the north, taking Tinubu out, considering his health condition and having the Fulani VP ascend the presidency. <laughs> Never you underrate or estimate what these people can do. In hey. the light of the above, like Paul Odebanjo advised too, I will want every Nigerian who truly loves this nation to brace up for tough and rough times ahead. <laughs> these people are ready and would not, having come this far, willingly relinquish power to any other tribe. Of course. They are ready even for war. Yes, we know. The import of the Fulanis from all over the world into Nigeria is not to rear cattle, but to use the weapons that they have long amassed for war, having successfully disarmed most Nigerians of their weapons for defense. Of course. The good news now is the readiness of the youths too, from every region, to take back their country, with the mantra, 
Behold, old things are passed away, and all things have become new. Yes. The emergence of these youths at this point in time has altered their equation because they were not factored in, in their calculation. Hmm. The survival of this nation, Nigeria, truly lies in the hands of these youths and now is the time. Hmm. Postscript. <clears throat> this article gave an excellent insight into the chess game the Fulani are playing with Southern Pawns. Hmm. The, the PDP heist against the East on Caliphate Victory Day, May 29th, is the clue that every move on the board has been confidently planned. Hmm. Are you surprised? <laughs> I hope you're not surprised. Great people, great people, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom are great people all over the world. I hope you just listen. I hope you understand every single point. You are welcome once again on IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazin Namdekano, where we always set the record straight. I still remain Mazo Okenina Okechuku, known as the Biafran Child in Wachineke, the general. Now you have listened. Whenever I am keep on telling my people, you listen and understand the point. I keep on telling my people that jihadis is real. Wahhabism is real. Terrorists taking over your land is real. There is no two ways about it. Ethnic cleansing is real. This is what I'm bringing to you all today for you to understand that you see all those of you that are jumping around talking about PVC, your PVC can never count. You know, sometimes when we are telling our people what is going to happen, they think that we are just joking. They think that we are just uh, telling a story. I always tell my people, when it comes on our, on our desk, we will bring out to our people for them to listen. Now you begin to understand. We told you people, I make a broadcast that two weeks ago. The reason why they brought Tinubu back, the reason why Tinubu are flag bearer of APC today, because Tinubu opened his mouth, said that if he never become the APC flag bearer, that he will tell Nigeria who is in Asorok. He will tell Nigeria where all the money they have been making for all this why dead Bugatti or the imposter in Asorok, where the money is going. Tinubu said that he will open his mouth. Tinubu, Tinubu said he will sink Nigeria. I said it before, but people don't seem to understand. Now you begin to understand. Tell Peter B to begin to jump. After he jump finish, he will, he will come down. Now you begin to understand. Fulani, they want to accomplish their mission. They want to accomplish Islamic jihadists slash Wahhabist terrorists. That is what they want to accomplish. It, now they're still telling you, is the youth. Go back to your tent, O Israel. Go back to where you come from. Stop your PVC. Stop all this nonsense you're talking about. I keep on telling you people, if you believe you on PVC, then you begin, that is when you are giving Fulani the power. If you believe on PVC, if you believe that your PVC can work, that is when you are giving the Fulani the power to control over you. Because they know they have everything it takes to announce who will be on that seat. Like I always tell my people, when you do free and fair election, P2B will win these people. But I, how do you show them we give P2B that president? That is why we are telling you people, P2B are not going to smell that seat. Because Fulani want to make sure they accomplish their mission. They want to come, Fulani are ready for war. You people have forgotten. You see Nigerian people, that is a problem of African people. They don't even reason. They don't even understand. When you are trying to give them a sign, they don't even understand. Now you begin to understand it. I will stop here. But I want you people to understand that. Holy war, Fulani are ready. Holy war is for real. And holy war means conquest. To come and take over your land. There, you see ethnic cleansing. You see all this Fulani food soldiers they are bringing. Where I keep on telling my people, some will come to me and telling me I'm causing problem. I'm bringing you out of hellfire. I'm saving your life, but I know when time comes, you people will come and say that you are mean, you people are doing well. I'm not going to say much, 
But I want you people to keep on sharing this video so it will get to our people. So everybody will go back to his tent, O Israel. Go and grab your nation. Go and grab your nation. Follow Biafran restoration. Follow Odudua restoration. This is only what can save you. Nothing else. If you are keeping on, giving on, go back and listen to this video. Listen to it over and over and you will understand what we are talking about. Good day.